Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. afternoon, Spanish Fork police confirming the identity of the couple found dead in their home yesterday. 58 year old Timothy Parker and his wife, 50 year old Jeannie Parker, police discovering the couple both shot dead during a welfare check yesterday afternoon. Jeannie's son, 26 year old Tristan Robert Erickson, was taken into custody in Grand County, Colorado hours. This was just hours after finding the couple's bodies. Now detectives from Spanish Fork today are there interviewing him as a person of interest in that case. identified the two people found dead in their home yesterday. Their son is in custody now in Colorado. Fox 13 News reporter Maithili Gooby spoke to neighbors who say this kind of thing just doesn't happen in their neighborhood. Crazy. Um, this neighborhood's very known for just like having kids run around full of laughter, especially in like the warmer days. So it's just crazy that like everybody's so quiet right now. Investigators walking around, crime scene tape, Cones in the street, police vehicles. It's an unusual sight for this suburban neighborhood in Spanish Fork. I can't even like wrap my head around it. I'm like around the block from my house. Like that's crazy. On Tuesday, Spanish Fork police were doing a welfare check in a home when they found a couple in their 50s who had died. The person of interest was their son, Tristan Erickson, who was taken into custody a few hours later in Colorado. We get information now. We're kind of waiting on what's taking place in Colorado, uh, how that interview goes. Police say his stepfather, 58-year-old Timothy Parker, and mother, 50-year-old Jeannie Parker, were found shot in the basement of their home, and investigators are still working to connect the dots. Uh, we gather all the evidence and document all that, uh, and so it is very time-consuming, uh, and it's obviously taken a, a lot of our resources as a, in our department to uh, handle this investigation. With questions still left to be answered, especially for those who live just around the corner. How, how could you do that, especially with family members? Honestly, is really devastating. Like, it's not something I would have ever imagined in this neighborhood, and it makes me sick to my stomach literally thinking about it was just right over there, you know. A situation impacting so many so close to home. We don't have a lot of homicides here in Spanish Fork. Uh, so when it occurs, it affects everybody, the city as a whole. Two Spanish Fork police officers are in Grand County, Colorado, continuing the investigation there. Police say they're trying to figure out if he had any ties to that area and understand why he was there. We don't know when exactly he'll be brought back to Utah. In Spanish Fork, I am Maitri Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah now in custody 400 miles away in Colorado. Grand County Colorado Sheriff deputies found him three hours after Spanish Fork police sent out an alert. Investigators tell Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser that this person of interest is related to the dead couple. Emily is live in Spanish Fork tonight at the house where the couple was found. Emily. 
Bob Kelly officers have not yet identified the 58-year-old man and 50-year-old woman found dead inside this home today. But we do know the person of interest is their son, and he has a criminal history along with mental health issues. The corner home in suburban Spanish Fork is crawling with investigators as police piece together the murder of a couple in their 50s. It affects everyone. It affects the family. Uh, it affects the neighbors. It affects the city as a whole. Officers received a concerned call from a co-worker and they stopped by for a welfare check Tuesday at 2 p.m. Our officers found an unlocked window. They were able to enter the home, and in doing so, in clearing the home, they located a deceased 58-year-old uh, male and a 50-year-old female deceased inside the home. Police believe the couple's son, 26-year-old Tristan Erickson, is the person of interest. He was living at home at the time. Erickson has a history of run-ins with the law. As early as when he was a teenager, he was booked in 2016 for drunk driving this stolen vehicle into a Payson home. Although I've been able to find out from our detectives early on is that he did have some mental health issues. I'm not exactly sure what all those issues were. Around 5 o'clock, the female victim's phone pinged near Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and officers spotted a missing car. A pursuit ensued, and Erickson was taken into custody in Grand County. We have detectives that are going to be heading to Colorado to uh, interview him and try to gather more information. There's still a lot to this timeline that officers are trying to figure out. Lieutenant Corey Slaymaker says the murders could have happened sometime over the weekend. Uh, they're going to be here throughout the night, probably into tomorrow, until they're able to gather all the evidence that they feel is, is necessary. Erickson is held on local charges in the Grand County, Colorado jail. Spanish Fort Police will not release the names of the victims until they are positively ID'd by the medical examiner. Reporting live in Spanish Fork, Emily Tensor, Fox 13 News, Utah. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.